Hello, everyone. It's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and today I'm coming right back at you with yet another spectacular vehicle. I'm sitting behind the wheel of a 2007 Land Rover Range Rover Sport SHE with only 57,650 original miles. Better yet, this vehicle is going to be part of our No Reserve collection. That's right. It's selling with no reserve at the New England Auto Auction on Saturday, August 26th. You've got to check this out. To start off this uh, presentation here, I'd like to first start off by saying, if you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note, I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. Uh, we're very proud to say that we're the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything that we sell and we document that work with an invoice. Uh, with newer vehicles like you see here, a lot of times the previous owners will have serviced the vehicles, uh, so we don't necessarily have to. Uh, that is the case with this particular vehicle here today. And then of course we get them into our detail room. We spend countless hours detailing these vehicles from top to bottom to present the best uh, of what you see uh, every time we list something. Uh, so if you haven't heard of us, please do your homework on MS Classic Cars. I'd like to get into this uh, presentation here. I'm gonna read uh, this directly from uh, the description that I have personally written. This is also the description that will be posted on the New England Auctions uh, website. If you don't know about the New England Auto Auction, uh, it's a great event. It's located in Owls Head, Maine at the Automobile Transportation Museum. Uh, it's a super deal. We've been going there for many years. Uh, so if you don't know much about it, uh, please check that out as well. Uh, so let's get right into it. This handsome 2007 Land Rover Range Rover Sport SHE, again, has only 57,650 original miles. It's been slightly customized, and it is part of the MS Classic Cars No Reserve Collection. As the Clean Carfax report indicates, this SUV was purchased by its first owner from Land Rover Miramar, located in San Diego, California, on March 19th, 2007. Uh, in this binder that I've made for it, I do this for every car we sell, you can clearly see, and this is also pictured in our photo gallery, the clean Carfax report, shows no accidents, no damage, etc. shows the full history of the car. MS Classic Cars is proud to be a Carfax dealer. Now, getting into the uh, details here, it was with the original owner for the next 14 years before being sold with only 49,000 original miles to the second owner on December 6th, 2021. So when I'm searching for vehicles, it's really important that they have clean Carfax reports. I love long-term ownership history. And of course, I like vehicles that are sexy. This is clearly uh, a sexy car. Um, it was sent to Fantasy Motorsports located in Thousand Oaks, California 
to be slightly customized in November of 22, so all of this work is recent. A total of $9,309.13 was invested in the upgrades, which equate to window tint, uh, painting the brake calipers, new stereo head unit, backup camera, new wheels, new tires. The invoice for the upgrades are included. In 2006, uh, Land Rover released the all-new Range Rover Sport, which was spirited, sporty, and agile. Uh, this is a, obviously a 2007, so this would be the second uh, model after the change. This example was ordered in the desirable color combination of Remy Red Metallic, which is an absolutely stunning color with a Albany premium leather interior, which is basically black. The exterior is in very nice uh, overall condition with only minor touch-ups uh, to the paint over the years. Uh, very common, you'll do a few little paint blends or you'll do a touch up of some chips and things like that. Uh, but the crew at MS Classic Cars did a beautiful job uh, detailing the exterior uh, to a brilliant shine. Uh, again, considering it's a 2007, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the black roof rails, window trim, uh, these mirrors here, the lower body moldings look awesome. They really complement the paint well. The gray front grille, these really sporty fender uh, vents, the door handles, the rear hatch molding also look awesome. Some of the exterior features include a glass uh, roof up top here, which is tinted as well. Um, all the professionally uh, tinted glass that I had mentioned earlier, the adaptive by uh, Xeon headlights. It has fog lights, it has front and rear parking sensors. Uh, it does have a backup camera, which I mentioned was installed. It does have dual exhaust outlets that actually sounds really good. It was outfitted with brand new 22 by 10 TSW, uh, Newberger matte gray, uh, multi-spoke wheels that match the exterior appointments. Again, a lot of thought was put into those wheels. They match that grill, door handles, and so forth. Um, the wheels sport a custom-made center cap. Those are one of a kind. Um, they look really cool. The wheels are wrapped with brand new Pirelli Scorpion Zero all-terrain 285, 35, 22-inch tires. I will mention that we have the original TSW uh, center caps. Uh, they're in our photo gallery. Um, we also have a few extra center caps that of the custom ones that were made in case one was to get uh, misplaced or what have you. Uh, getting into the interior, the interior is also in super nice condition. Uh, the light, this light gray headliner uh, really provides a spacious feeling in the black premium leather interior. It does have wood accents in the cabin on the door panels and center console. Uh, the power adjustable and heated front bucket seats with armrests are extremely comfortable. In my opinion, that's probably one of the best parts of this vehicle. The seats are super, super comfortable. Um, getting into the, uh, the rear seats, they are a split rear seat seat and they also are heated just like the front seats. That's a cool option. The leather wrap multifunction steering wheel uh, is in front of the central digital display with an 8K RPM tachometer and 144 mile speedometer along with the uh, extra gauges that are for the coolant and fuel level and so forth. Some of the interior features include a driver's seat memory settings, dual climate control, a center console with a cooler box, which is really cool. It does have like a little cooler uh, in the console. I guess that's a, a Land Rover thing. Uh, we learned that for the first time. It does have cup holders. Um, again, the upgraded Alpine head unit has a seven inch display. It does have Apple CarPlay. It's got Bluetooth, which is connected to the original Harman Kardon Logic 7 sound system. Uh, the rear cargo space um, is 71 cubic feet, which is a really good size. Uh, again, uh, the, the trunk compartment in this actually is really uh, spacious and uh, definitely great for things if you want to go to Home Depot, you want to throw bicycles back there, do normal SUV things. The engine compartment and the undercarriage are both really, really nicely detailed. You'll see that in all the photos. Uh, it's powered by an aluminum 4.4 liter V8 that was factory rated at 300 horsepower with 315 foot-pounds of torque. 
The power is sent to all four wheels. Yes, it is all wheel drive. Great traction through a six speed automatic transmission in dual range transfer case. The adjustable air suspension system has multiple settings for different driving conditions. You will see in our photo gallery uh, that we took pictures of it up, we took pictures of it down. Uh, so you can clearly see how you can change all of that. Um, the original key fobs, owner's manuals, the stereo unit, and hitch, again, that are all pictured within our photo gallery are included. This vehicle has been completely serviced by the previous uh, owner, uh, so the new owner doesn't have to worry about doing that, as I had mentioned earlier in the video, and of course, we've detailed it to the highest level. So that concludes our presentation here. Again, this binder uh, that I'm going over is included. Once again, it does have the Carfax report, it does have the invoice for all the custom work that was done. And as I just mentioned, uh, this is the service work that was done by the previous owner. And this was actually done in January of 2023. And uh, he invested a total, it looks like, of almost $2,000 just doing routine service work. So again, great... Uh, Great deal here. Again, it's selling with no reserve. It's a huge opportunity. Uh, make sure to go on to the uh, Owl's Head uh, Transportation Museum's website for all the details on the New England Auto Auction Saturday, August 26. You don't want to miss it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it right now. I'm going to let you listen how beautiful it runs. If you want to follow MS Classic Cars uh, as closely as possible, the best way to do so is through the VIP email blast. You can also follow us on all the social networks. We uh, really appreciate your interest. Uh, appreciate you watching this video as well. Going to go ahead and fire her up. That's all there is to it. Runs absolutely beautiful. This is a great engine that actually has really good track history. So again, do your research on these. This is a great opportunity. And as always, I appreciate you watching. Rock and roll.